This season for us in general is just, um, it started off a little up and down, you know? I think we we're just finding our identity. We were trying to find our roles and Losing a great player like Justin Wright Foreman this year it was like kind of tough in the beginning of the year. We just tried to pick it up on defense and make our offense. A lot of guys found their roles and we just tried to play our best basketball. Hofstra means everything to me. Long Island, I call it Strong Island because just the mentality that I had to embrace when I went there. Long Island, Hofstra, it's a family. My teammates, they, I wouldn't rather have any other teammates on my team. The chemistry, our brotherhood, it shows itself on the court. Our coaching staff, I feel like we got one of the best coaching staffs in the world. They study this game so much, they put they prepare us so much. So like what you see on the court is from them watching endless film and preparing us to be better every single day. Uh, no, we don't really talk about the curse. Uh, I think we all understand it because everybody around us talks about it, but uh, curse is the three out of the five years that we made it to the attorney. Just, uh, and the championship, we, did, we didn't get it done. I've been to the championship game two times in my five years playing. It's like, every time we get there, it's just we just come up short in some way, some shape or form, but I hope this year, you know, we can make it there. First and foremost, we should make it there. And, um, Get over that hump, you know, just the teammates, you yeah, just gotta stay together. A lot of shots not gonna fall, every shot not gonna go in, everybody's not perfect, you know, we're gonna make mistakes, may turn over the ball, you know, but you gotta stay together, stay together, stay solid. It's quarterfinal action between the eight seeded Drexel Dragons and the top seeded Hofstra Pride. I feel like the first game is the hardest, uh, no matter who you play. This past week we uh we worked hard at practice, we were going at each other's necks. And I think that's the best thing about our team is that how hard we compete against each other. So I think we prepared the right way for this, uh, for this first game. Winning the CAA tournament, uh, it's just gonna bring so much joy to me. I, I can't wait to look at the, my teammates' faces, my coaches' faces, and look at the stands of the, the fans that, uh, you know, that the curse is finally over. I honestly get choked up about it, but we hungry, humble, but ready. I just hope at the at Tuesday night, we the team that come up on top, you know, and get it done. As we get ready for tip-off here, taking a look at the bracket, of course, Hofstra at the top of it for the second straight season, the number one seed in the CAA. Question is, can they get through this time around? Hofstra in the whites, the blue and uh, gold trim. And we are getting ready to tip it off here. CAA quarterfinal action. Thanks for joining us here on Flow Sports. We knew first half that a lot of our shots were going in and out. I think it was just because of butterflies, you know. But our, what kept us in the game and up three uh, in that first half was our defense. Our defensive intensity was, um, I think this was the best that we did all season. And what's the mindset of the team as you guys celebrate briefly and now quickly start to prepare for tomorrow's game? Mindset of the team right now is just recovery and get ready for a, a tough game tomorrow. It's, it's three games of war, so um, we got to make sure that uh, we do the right things, uh, put in the right things in our body and um, uh, focus up on film. We're just ready. We're war ready, and um, my guys know that. Uh, anybody that you're gonna put in front of us, we got, we're gonna go 110 percent, and we really feel like it's our time. That's what's what. We try to get number two, men's league championships, man. Let's go. Stay together. Stay together. Great focus. Great focus. Great energy. Great energy. That's how you win. Have that great focus, that great energy. Hard work, baby. One, two, three. Hard work. That's <laughs> great. Anybody need any more gas? Anybody have any more news? <laughs> Hofstra was excited to be back in D.C. talking to Joe yesterday, and his team's excited. It's a big opportunity. It's tough being the hunted in this tournament, as you know, Tariq, year in and year out. And we are getting ready to zip it off here.
got his team going down the line there after the win. You can't say it enough. Tariq, but it was defense that really got Hofstra going in the second half. Man, I'm not trying to get overexcited because last year we've been there, you know, came up short. So today we're just going to do what we did yesterday, take care of our bodies, you know, prepare for tomorrow. There's two great teams playing out here tomorrow that we're going to be preparing for one of them tonight. So, you know, we just want to stay humble. You know, we got another game tomorrow. You know, in the locker rooms and all through the building, it talks about, uh, what's the slogan? Ten teams, nine games, uh, one champion or one winner. I'll tell you what, and, and we've, it's been our battle cry. Uh, every game's tough. Every, all nine of those games, doesn't matter who's playing, it's a battle, it's a war. You know, I say it all the time, this, this league is, uh, is, 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 is such a great basketball league. And uh, tonight was not a, was, was exactly what I'm talking about. Just, just, a, a, just a, a, two teams battling out, nobody quitting. Tough, tough win, hard earned win, and we beat a very good team. So, so we're, we're proud of it, we're ecstatic to be one of the two teams left. Uh, but man, and, and we're proud that we, we earned it. Nobody, nobody gave us the, the path to the finals, that's for sure. Yeah, hey! 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 We said it, hard fought. And I don't care who we play tomorrow, that's going to be hard fought too. I don't care who we play, alright? I'm repeating myself, but I'm telling you, it's going to keep reminding you. The team that cuts down those nests tomorrow night is going to get three tough wins. Doesn't matter who we play, it's going to be tough. Tonight was tough. Last night was tough. This one's going to be a war. This thing up here about 10 teams, nine games, one champion, every one of those nine games, every one of those nine games is a war. It's tough. And to win, you got to earn it. And we earn this tonight. We earn this tonight, okay? We earn this tonight. Really proud of you. Really proud of you. Each and every one of you, okay? We're going to do this first. It's easy to pick out the guy that this. Yes, sir. Easy to pick out the guy that this. We go! champion you're headed to the NCAA tournament 
How's that feel? Oh, man. I've been dreaming about this. I told you, I used to run home to go see games in March, you know, them competitive games. And I'm finally getting to experience it. So right now, I'm a loss of words. I'm just, I'm feeling all, every kind of way right now. You know, I'm so excited, you know. I'm emotional, you know, there's a lot going on. All the adversity I fought, I was built for this. Big ups to my, my family, the way they raised me, man. Having an older brother that matured me quick, you know. Always kept me humble, you know. They never let me get too high, you know. Always kept me low and, and humble. So, you know, I appreciate them so much, my family, man. The focus, the dedication, and the sacrifice. You know, it sounds corny, but it, that's really, really, really what it took. Um, and uh, these guys just deserve it, if I can say anything. How are you feeling right now? You've already cut the nets down. You're wearing your CAA championship hat. You're going to the NCAA tournament, man. What does that feel like? It feels like a job well done, you know? And uh, we're ready. You know, the first round, I hope they don't think it's sweet because uh, my guys is ready. Well, I mean, it's just uh, the, the word I've used a couple times already is it's, it's euphoric. It's just euphoric. I mean, to, to be sitting up here with these guys, to be in that locker room with these guys, to be with these guys every day is, uh, is, uh, is, a, is a blessing, something I treasure. But, you know, champions win championships. And the guys I'm sitting next to right now, and the guys in that locker room, uh, their work ethic, their attitude, their character, they're all better people than they are players. And, uh, and that's why you win. You win with good people. Surround yourself with good people if you want to be successful. And that's what Hofstra basketball is all about. Hey,